Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you the beach settings for the DS2 that I have been using. But not only that, we're going to actually walk through each setting and show you how to go through the program and set it all up. Let's do it. Alright, before we get to set, I want to say one thing. There's not really one setting for all beaches. I'm going to walk through a setting that I use, a generic setting that I use for beach. Um, I'm going to actually use the dive program. I've been using the Beach P, the Beach Sensor. I've used them all, but we're going to walk through this system with the beach, with the dive program. But what will happen after you go through this day, you'll be able to set it up for specific beaches how you want it. That's the key I want to get through here. It's not one setting for every beach. Different beaches are different. One might have a ton of brass all over. You might want to use a little different setting. One might have nothing. You might want a different setting. It just depends on the type of uh, beaches that you're hunting. So hopefully this video will let you know how to set it up for a specific beach that you are hunting. So let's get started showing you how to set up uh, for going on a generic beach using the dive program. Here we go. All right, here we have the DS2 pod right here. We're going to walk through all the basics here. First, cut it on. Hold this button down right here. And here we're going to get this screen to come up. And the first thing you'll see on the screen is it's connected with the coil. Just connected with the coil. And now it's giving you options which type of speaker you want to hear sound through. Whether you want wireless, you want just sound coming out of the speaker and the wireless, or just a uh, headset. I'm going to hit the headset because we don't want to hear it while we're trying to do this function here. So we want to click this one right here. All right, there we go. Now we're into the system. Now, just to show you, once you get this point, if you're not real familiar with it, you can actually scan through the different programs that are there with these two buttons on the bottom, this uh, plus and minus. I'm on general right now, right there. So now I'm going to go up one, that's sensitive, up two, that's sensitive, T, fast, park, and actually, we'll work deep HC. We'll work our way up to the diving. Like I said, I've been using the diving. I'm going to walk through that one, but you'll know how to do your own here once we get to that point. All right, relic, diving. Now we're on the diving mode right there. Now, what we want to do is start off. We're going to start off, if you see these up here at the top, you got menu, option, menu, and ground balance. So we're going to start with the menu option here. When I click that, we come up to discrimination. And you'll see an expert. If you click this, you actually get an expert. We're going to do that in a minute, but not yet. <clears throat> now, discrimination, you can raise this up, I think, from minus 6 to 99. And what that does, if you want to just dig targets over 50 on the beach, you can raise this up to 50. If you want to dig targets just in the 90s, you can raise that up. 90. Uh, I'm going to leave this at 8. I like to hear the iron on a beach. Because uh, normally, uh, if you start hitting a few iron targets... That's heavy targets, and that's where you want to be hunting. So I'm going to leave this at the default set eight. Anytime you don't want to go through all this, if you just want to use the default programs, set it up and go. There's nothing wrong with that either. These are just some tweaking I do for me. So anyway, let's get back to the next one. The next one is sensitivity. All right, and I'm going to leave this at 93 right now, but a lot of times you get to a beach and you start getting a lot of false signaling. You can actually lower this just on the beach the other day. I lower this down. It was a really bad beast to 80. I mean, just to, so I wouldn't have to hear a lot of uh, tone, um, false signaling. But normally, normal beach, 90% of the time, you'll be okay in a 90, 95 degree range right there. So we're going to leave that at 93 for now. But just remember, though, you can go back there and change that. Salt, salt sensitivity. Um, this is where this takes out, if you start getting a lot of, because uh, salt has a lot of uh, elements in the water, and you start getting a lot of false readings, and you can actually use this to take it out. Uh, anytime you change one thing, it changes something else. To lower this, you can hit the negative. And I like, I'm going to go five on that one just because I want to max it out right now. But I might have to go back and change it depending on the beach. Each beach is different. So we're going to leave that at five right now. All right, we're going to go frequency shift. And that's uh, where we look, uh, get rid of any uh, things in the um, outside. I'm going to show you this real quick to get to the frequency shift. If you hold this button down right here, you'll see it come in here, and it's actually searching right now to see if there's any frequencies that are affecting your machine, and that's where it goes in and switches that around in case there's an issue. Now, you wanna do that every time you cut your machine on in an area. Just do that right there. Just hold this button down, and it'll automatically go in and it's searching, running automatically to see if there's any frequencies out there that's gonna affect your machine. 
and bam, it's done. Anyway, that's what that is, and that's what this frequency shifted. See, it just shifted to one because it's getting some frequencies in my house, probably, or whatever, from the refrigerator or something, maybe. Anyway, that's what that is right there. It'll it'll change automatically when you do your frequency uh, check right there. All right, let's go to the next one. We got iron volume. I'll keep that at, at uh, three because I do. I don't want to hear a lot of iron. I don't want to blow my ears off, but I do want to be able to hear the iron in the area because, like I said before, a lot of times that's a, that's a heavy material and it's uh, in an area that you do want to check. So leave, I'm leaving that at three, three. But if you're looking for a cannonball, you might want to cut that up because that's what you want the iron. So again, depending on where you're at, depends on what you want that at. But right now, we're going to leave that at three. Uh, reactivity. Uh, this is how fast the computer in the pod is is processing the information. Uh, the uh, the the slower it processes, which would be a higher number, the, it go, does not go as deep. The lower the number, it's going to go deeper. On a beach, normally, you don't have an issue. So, in this particular setting, I will take this down to zero because it goes deeper on zero than it will at a higher number. Uh, but if you get a beach that's got a lot of iron on it, you need to separate between an iron nail and a silver coin, you might have to raise this up some. So, that's another one you have to adjust depending on the beach situation. Um, all right, let's go to the next one here. Audio response. All right. I don't have good hearing. This What this does is a, a deep target. It will raise the value, but you're changing the electronics again. Normally, I would leave it at five if you have good hearing. But for me, I don't have good hearing. So what I do is I usually... Oh, oh I hit the wrong one. See, you got... I tell you, it's always something. You got to hit the plus on that and raise that to seven. And I'll leave that at seven on that. Okay. We're back to discrimination. We're going to go back to expert mode now. So we're going to click that one time. All right. In this area here, you can actually raise the number of tones. Uh, you can go to full tones, five tones. Uh, you change it all around. On the beach, I dig a lot on the beach. Even low tones on the beach if they're good. So I usually go two tones on the beach. Personally, I use the two tone on the beach. Not in a relic mode, but in the, on the beach, I'll use two tone. Um, all right, and next thing, in, we're in the expert mode, so it's, this little area here is telling you to go to the next function, bottle caps. I did a little testing out back on bottle caps, and I found three to be a good number on bottle cap rejection. I don't like changing it as little as I can because you start affecting other things. So I, bottle cap three is working. You'll still get a bottle cap with three, but you'll eliminate a lot of the old rusty ones all that you won't get. So I leave that at three. All right, let's see what else we got here. Notch, this is where you can actually go in there. If you got a, a beach that's got, uh, you're getting a million twenties because it's a pop top or something, you can actually notch out 15 to 25 or whatever you want to do. Uh, here, I'm going to just leave it at zero. Uh, I'm not, I, I have never worked on that, so we're going to just leave that at zero. All right, on the silencer. Sometimes in, in irregular objects or big iron objects will uh, give you some false readings. You can actually adjust this to get rid of those false readings up and down. I'm actually going to leave it at the default 2 for now. Um, but you can you can play with that one at a later date. All right, let's go on to the next function. Here we go. All right, now we're going to go into the options menu here. And we got uh, different things. We got settings, program, pairing, audio, settings. Anyway, we'll go to audio first. All right, in audio, we're going to select that. And we're gonna go down to the type here. This is this is where you can either go square or PWM. We're gonna leave it at square. Square sounds more like the old Knox, so we'll leave that at the Knox. All right, we'll go back out of that. We're still in audio. All right, and now we're in audio out. In audio out, I usually raise this up. My hair is not good, so I will raise this up to a um, nine. Now, that'll be your own, uh, how you like it. Uh, everybody don't want one or nine. And depending on what headphones you got, do you have the bone conducting or do you have the wireless phones? Anyway, you can. that's where you adjust the audio out right there. All right, we're going to go down one more time. I don't mess with the equalizers. We can change some of the frequencies on some of your uh, sound. I use square tones. Okay, so we're back at audio out. So now we're going to go back on that. I went back to audio, uh, back out to the main screen. Now we'll go down here on settings. Now we'll select settings. 
You got display, which we'll leave uh, standard default. Language, we're gonna use that. Clock. Profile. In the profile here, you can actually change what you wanna see. Now, this is where you do the large numbers. Here, you would leave it there if you wanna see the big numbers on the screen. I do use that sometime. I'll leave that right now, but just show you how you walk through that. Uh, you can actually do an XY screen where you see the little, like a oscilloscope with a line, and it, it, if it's like going this way, I think that means it's good. I don't, I haven't really used that. Uh, I would leave it. That's a, that's a normal view. I will put it on the, the big screen right there for now. Okay, now we'll go back out of that and go to program. This is where you'll save what you, everything you just did, to a new program name. So we're gonna select that right there. So we're gonna select that. So here, it's coming down here. It'll give you the next available uh, block to save it in right here. So right now it's saying 19. So we're gonna select that. This is where you actually wanna call it some. We'll call that, um, we're just gonna call this test. So what you will do is a plus and minus buttons will, will change the, uh, the letters and numbers, whatever you want. So we're gonna go up here and here's a T. Once you get a letter that you want, you push the button. It goes to the next one right there. So then you want to go up with that to get the E. So there's the E right there. And once you get the letter you want, you push that button there. Now you want to go down to get to the S, R, S. Push the next button. Of course, the T's right there. Now we want to, that's good. We want to valid that and it should be saved. And there it is. There you go. You got the uh, big number showing up now on the screen like we just programmed. Anyway, that's basically how you go through to set everything up. Um, hopefully that helps you out right there, showing you all the different functions you can do. Um, let me know how you do. If you get a better way to do something, if you got something, comment in the video down below. We all want to hear your input. Uh, I'm no expert. I'm just trying to learn this machine just like everybody else. So if you get something that works better in a certain environment or you want to share some of your uh, settings or what you come up with, put it in the comments below. All right, thanks. All right, I hope that video was informative and kind of showed you how to do the machine, set it up yourself to where you want to go and, and change a few things to match your own hearing and match your own scenario so anyway hope y'all enjoyed that video don't forget to click like comment below share and subscribe to the gig master we'll see you on the next hunt stay tuned